This is the Brother Henry and You Show, where you can be inspired, uplifted, and edified through the Word of God. Enjoy today's program. As for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. I actually saw that on the post at the last tape that I did, and that is so true. As for me in my house, you should have that attitude today that no matter what, no matter what obstacles come your way, no matter what you go through in life, always say within yourself, I am going to serve the Lord no matter what. This is Brother Henry Harris. I'm so grateful and delightful to be able to come to you today. This is the Brother Henry and you show, and I pray that something will be said, will be a blessing to you today. I have one of my dear friends, and not only a friend, but he's a father figure to me. He's my spiritual father in the gospel, brother John Madera. Uh, we'll be coming to you today to share what the Lord has been dealing with him about. Uh, I'm sure you will be blessed to hear him. But before we turn it over to him, I would like to say a prayer for you. Lord, I come to you now, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. We appreciate you for your loving kindness, your tender mercies. Lord, we realize that without you, we can't do nothing. Lord, I pray for these next few moments, Lord, that as our brother John shares what the Lord laid on his heart, that lives will be changed, lives will be transformed by your word, Lord. Lord, we realize that your word has transforming power, Lord. We just stand on your word. We stand in your word, Lord. We just believe, Lord, that whatever you said will come to pass. And Jesus, we love you. We give you the praise in your holy and majestic name. Amen. At this time, we'll turn it over to Brother John. So, pretty much want to know what the Lord has been dealing with you about. Yes. Uh, today, we're going to go into the scriptures of the word of God. And the Word of God that is living, the Word of God that's alive, the Word of God that was here in the beginning, mm -hmm. and also the Word of God that's going to be here at the end. Amen. It's the heaven and earth shall pass away, but my Word mm -hmm. will be everlasting. Amen. And the Word of God is so true. And, you know, Henry, there's so many of us, we're going through the different translations. Mm -hmm. We're going to... The New King James, we go to NIV, mm -hmm. trying to find something simple mm -hmm. to understand. Uh -huh. And when I see that, it's almost as if we're trying to get God to come down to our level mm -hmm. instead of us going into His level, Amen. which is higher ground. Mm -hmm. And to have the understanding of the Word of God is very easy. And the thing is, try not to understand it intellectual. Mm -hmm. And the only way it can be understood, one thing about this book, it's been misdefined, mm -hmm. it's been misinterpreted, mm -hmm. it's been misconstrued. Mm -hmm. Reason because man put his thoughts into it instead of allowing the thought of our God mm -hmm. coming to our hearts. Mm -hmm. And when He comes into our hearts, now we have the true Word of God, mm -hmm. the Word of God that is living and alive. And as we go into the scriptures, and I pray and hope that I have the words to say, and this message is for the church. Amen. It's not for just anybody, this is for the church. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that, because the mysteries are for the saints. Mm -hmm. It's not just for anybody. Mm -hmm. But I just want to define one scripture here in 2 Timothy 3.16. And it reads, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And have you, have you noticed when he says all scripture? Mm -hmm. It's singular. Mm -hmm. They don't have an S on it. No. <laughs> Why is that? Because you see, there's only one scripture. Mm -hmm. 
there's only one verse mm -hmm. and there's only one word mm -hmm. and that's Jesus Amen. and that's why it's not plural it's singular it's all scripture I, I really never noticed that before. Mm -hmm. and they said given by the inspiration of God another translation it says God breathed mm -hmm. Okay, the thought come to me when I read that, when Adam was created, mm -hmm. when God breathed into Adam's nostrils, mm -hmm. what happened? He received life. He became a living soul. Mm -hmm. living soul. That's what happened to us when we accepted Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He breathed mm -hmm. into us. Now we become a living soul. No longer we're dead in sin. Mm -hmm. Now we become a living soul. We become a new creation mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ. Amen. And so the word of God that we have was here from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, Moses didn't write the first five book of the Bible. It was the Holy Spirit Amen. within Moses. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit exerted himself in Moses. I don't really know what Moses felt when he stopped writing and say, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he felt. He didn't know anything about the beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but yet the Holy Spirit guided him and led him into writing. And so that tells me that if the word is inspired, and like I said a little while ago, if this is the breath of God, mm -hmm. then we need to pray and ask God, to give us more of his breath to come into the understanding of the Word of God. Amen. And a lot of people use the word inspired in such a wrong way. Mm -hmm. The Word is written through inspiration. Mm -hmm. So it's going to have to be understood in the same manner. Mm -hmm. And the only way that the Word can be inspired in us, not by reading, mm -hmm. not by praying, but by receiving mm -hmm. the Word of God, which is Jesus Christ in our hearts. Mm -hmm. And when He comes into our hearts, we just read the scripture. It's for correction, mm -hmm. it's for instruction, mm -hmm. it's for teaching. He's talking about the person himself that's seeking. Mm -hmm. He said, one of the scriptures says, a man that loses his life for his name's sake, we're talking about Jesus Christ. If you are willing to lose your life for Jesus, then he's gonna be exalted in you. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna be the witness. We cannot be a witness except through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna be the witness. He's gonna do the work. He's gonna, he's the only one that I know that, that, that can do the healing. He can prophesy. He can do all nine gifts with his love. And, and we, we read the Word of God, and sometimes I, I feel that the Word of God is so much alive, mm -hmm. so much living, and the unique thing, it changes me. Mm -hmm. It comes in my heart and says, John, this is who I am. And then I say, Lord, you mean all this time I've been teaching this way was wrong? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes. <laughs> And it humbles me because I know who I'm serving. I'm serving a God that's real. Amen. And I'm serving a God. And the Word, it was here as we was saying what Moses said, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's the Word. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, what? God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the Word. And the book of John said that the Word became flesh. Mm -hmm. God Himself, mm -hmm. the one that spoke everything into existence. Mm -hmm. That I mean, if you want an understanding of the Word of God, I got the recipe for it. Mm -hmm. Fear Him. Fear God is the beginning of understanding. Mm -hmm. You will never understand Him if we just gonna do what you want to do and calling it God. Mm -hmm. But if you fear God, put him in a place where he belongs. Mm -hmm. Well, let's put it another way. Let him put himself in a place mm -hmm. where he belongs. Mm -hmm. 
And when he does, then you'd be afraid to say, you'd be afraid to do anything, and calling it God. Paul, when in uh, 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, he said, I come not with enticing words. I come not with persuasive words. He said, I have not man's teaching. Mm -hmm. He said, but I come with the wisdom and the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. And Paul even expressed himself in the same chapter. He said, the only thing he knew was Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Henry, you know me, if you come to my house, if you don't want to talk about Jesus, we're not going to talk very long mm -hmm. <laughs> because he's all I know. Mm -hmm. But then I have advantage of than most people. Mm -hmm. I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I don't have a family as far as living in family. Mm -hmm. And I don't work. So if I can't go forward in God now, then something is wrong. Mm -hmm. At my age, the fastest place I can go is upon my knees. Amen. And that's why God is showing himself so much to us, mm -hmm. that we are willing to give up our prayers changes. Mm -hmm. we, we ask God to change our desires. Mm -hmm. We ask God to, according to Scripture, Romans 8, 26, it says, a man does not know how to pray. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Holy Spirit makes intercession in our, mm -hmm. in our prayer. So that's why we start our prayer and say, Lord, can you give me the words to say, the words to pray? I don't want to pray selfish. I want to pray what's needed in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And then it also says in the book of James that a righteous man, a prayer of a righteous man, avail it much. Mm -hmm. What it means? It accomplish much mm -hmm. because if the righteous man is praying, then it's going to work. Amen. You know, and that that's a unique thing. So to me, the word of God is Jesus mm -hmm. all the way from Genesis to Revelation is Jesus, Amen. and He is the word of God, and and we can't change Him. Mm -hmm. I can think one way, and and I can say it's God. And if he's not there, then it's not God. Mm -hmm. It's me that's doing it, not mm -hmm. him. But if I allow him to do the work, then it's God. And that's what I pray that people will come into the acknowledgement. Uh, we use scriptures like John 8, 32. He said, acknowledge the truth and the truth will make you free. It says make you free, not set. Mm -hmm. and, and so... What I see out of that is we acknowledge the truth means we know the truth. Mm -hmm. But they have to go further than that. It means we have mm -hmm. the truth. Amen. And how do we have it? By Him inputting His Spirit within us. John 4, 24 says, God is Spirit, and those that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and true. Mm -hmm. The first spirit is capitalized. Mm -hmm. It's God's spirit, united with man's spirit, mm -hmm. it becomes the true, which is Jesus Christ. Ooh. And that's the oh, word of God. God. So, <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I like how you said, um, how a lot of people say, oh, the truth sets you free. You hear that all the time, how I say the truth sets you free. But anything that can be set can be readjusted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the scripture says, makes you free. Make you free, yes. And it's making us free every day of our life. Amen. Amen. The Word of God. The, I'm getting a couple messages here. <laughs> uh, the, word, the Word of God is so true. And the Word of God is so alive. And the Word of God is so meaningful. It is our life. You know, without Him, we have no life. Amen. You know, and I just praise the Lord for the Word that that it's going to be here, mm -hmm. everlasting. And uh, but that's just about all what I got to say, Henry. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. I really do. And like the brother said, God's Word um, is inspired. You know, I praise God for the inspired Word of God. I like how you said about Moses. He didn't write the first five books of the Bible. It was the Holy Spirit through him that wrote that. So I pray that God's Word will become so rich in your life and that God's Word will become alive in your life. Like Brother John said, the Word of God is powerful. You know, if God's, God's Word 
uh, can't change you, something is mighty wrong. His word changed my life, his word changed his life. And I tell you, if you're looking for hope and you're looking for an answer, you're only going to find it in Jesus Christ. You're only going to find it in the Word. So I pray that you have a blessed week. I pray that God's favor will follow you everywhere you go. And I do appreciate you and thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.